right, but it actually looks like we are going to get the Inkling, Inkling Ditto instead here. Maybe he just prefers uh, this matchup over Why me not? bringing out the Sonic. I can Why see not? It. And again, running it back to Pokemon Stadium, fan favorite for sure. And again, uh, what do you think about the Inkling Ditto in general? Uh, I mean, what do you think about any Ditto in general? I know. Right? You got the same options yeah. as your opponent, so it's really going to come down to the neutral. Who's Who has the better reads? Who has the better, the better combos? Yeah. yeah. For sure, definitely. Uh, who's kind of spacing yep. a little bit better here? And uh, yeah, so this will be going to be the battle of not really who's a better character, but just kind of like patience and they reaction. Pick, they pick similar colored ink, inklings too. Like I know what the ink. I'm not sure who's whose ink is on who. <laughs> no, no, exactly. We kind of have like the hipster blue inkling going on, and then we kind of have like you know the badass looking like green hair type of inklings. No, yeah, it, it's cool for sure. Ooh. And again, really okay. That was actually nice with the. The call out yeah, there with the really down, down smash. smash. And he's going to get the roller okay. into the up smash. Valor taking the first stock here against Exax. Yeah, see if Exax is able to bring it up. Um, a raw up air, maybe even just like a read with a, a smash attack is going to take the stock. He's looking for the roller. Yeah, he's just going to throw out the up smash as well. Might as well. Okay, there's that uh, a splat bomb that we like to see as well. Applying pressure of its own, kind of a, almost creating a wall in some type of way. Yeah. Barrier, kind of stopping your opponent's momentum Absolutely. options um, for sure. The only but, um, problem with the Splat Bomb is the Splat Bomb is actually one of the Inkling's moves that uses the most ink, I would say. Yeah, no, for sure. Definitely. You could even Besides see it right the there roller. with the ink meter. The roller uses a ton, mm -hmm. depending on how long you're, you're uh, rolling for, basically. All right. Takes the most for sure. But again, this is, needs to be an opportunity for Exax oh. to take the stock. Valor sitting at 160% here, and Exax already at 72% uh, yeah. deficit here. He needs yeah. to get something, some type of connection. I think we're looking for the short hop back air here, but we're not getting oh. call out with the random up smash there, but I don't know about that. Yeah, he's going to, I mean, at this point, he has to do it because Valor is outside of the percent where he can really combo the up air to up air, right? Does he get the gimp? Whoa, what exactly happened there? I'm not quite sure, but <laughs> XX is going to take that all the way to the bank, man. He's just going to jab himself out of this combo with the, the, uh, the rapid jab. Looking for the roller once again. Valor gets this grab. Is this the up air? He's going to wait for it. But XX not giving in, not going to give him the air dodge that Valor was looking for. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And honestly, I, I would expect to see both of these uh, characters a little more like inked up, you know, especially because it does um, Dude, you know, I can't add even more tell damage. If they have ink or not. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. They're pretty similar colors there, especially if like you're colorblind. You're like, what? <laughs> That's yeah, the what's same. going on, dude? That sucks. I'm colorblind. Okay. Oh, I'm not, no. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> actually, that is a thing for men. Yeah, they usually, they usually suck. are. But uh, X is actually doing a pretty good job. Um, has a good positioning right now. And yeah, I think he brought all the way back. That almost was in the percent range where he could have gotten yeah. the up throw upper. So despite being in the percent deficit, it actually might have been more beneficial for Exax at this point. Yeah, no, oh yeah, almost getting that follow up there. It would have been really nice to see there, especially because it would have been a nice turnaround for Exax. Um, but again, yeah, Valor. Kind of like these like dash and dash out movements of being very patient here. Don't really really overcommit. Make the first uh, overstep boundary oh, here. Back throw should, do, should it. do it though. Eat him out of here. Valor taking a second stock here, but he's already at 113 percent. Up throw up air. Not going Looking to connect. Does get the neutral air though. And Valor at the ledge now. How's he gonna get off? Manages to find his way to center stage and barely avoids that roller. Okay. There's a fair pushing him back and the back air at the ledge here. Gonna apply some pressure Woo! with the splat bomb. Gonna take the stock. Really nice stuff from Exax to even it up here. We are down to the wire here. Exax and Valor down on two of their last stocks. Very healthy lights. Okay. Cool. Kind of like their aerial movement's yeah. so silly. Looking, just a bunch of squids. <laughs> Hopping around here, is short hop there. Is it a squid or is it a kid? I don't know, man. But one thing's for sure is that this character's pretty good. And both of these players are yeah. pretty good as well. Yeah, no, for sure. And again, actually not even seeing that much inkling representation in Ultimate, despite being probably, you know, a top 15 character in the game. I don't know, man. That's debatable. You know, everyone says inkling is the top five, but it's like, where's no. the results, man? Where's I the know. results? I don't, I don't know about top five there. Yeah, That's why it's the top 15, top 15 for sure. Top 15 is a little more reasonable. Yeah, reasonable, reasonable. for sure. Ooh. Ooh, almost getting that roller there. That would have been dirty if he got that. Oh, oh no. Whoa. What happened? I guess he was too low. Yeah, you can tell XX is a little bit tilted by that. He doesn't really yeah. feel like he should have lost the stock there. Nonetheless, it is how the game is played. So yeah, no, no one likes to see that, you know, going out just to your own SD. Not kind of all. fast falling a little too fast there. And unfortunately, just going to take himself out, especially after them pretty much going back and forth between that whole set there. I feel like the dittos in general, that's usually how they go because it's kind of just like a more advanced game of rock, paper, scissors. Am I right? Like... Basically, you're just waiting um, for your opponent to like commit first, and yeah, it's kind of like what you were saying earlier. So, 
I don't know, man. It could go either or. But again, uh, Valor up 1-0 right now. And just going to run it back to Pokemon Ooh, Stadium. PS2. Excuse me. Yeah, we're going to see this stage probably for the duration of the set. After all, both players are playing the same characters. So the stage really isn't going to matter too much. And this is what's considered to be one of the most neutral stages. There are a, char a couple characters here, uh, give or take, that benefit yeah. a lot more on this stage. But in this case, same character doesn't matter. And yeah, exact no, off to a really strong start mm -hmm. already for this game. Yeah, no, this is a really good opportunity uh, for Exax to start off strong by taking the first stock here. But actually, Valor actually going to get back onto the stage. And not only that, get him a lead despite being at the ledge. Nice stuff. There's going to, okay, opting for the uh, yeah, back air there I'm instead I'm of uh, the confused. up air. confused. He didn't actually go for the up air. It seemed like the percent rate is just right for him to get that guaranteed up air. Yeah. No. He doesn't go for it. And Maybe because it wasn't connecting like earlier, so yeah. he thought he would try something different. Maybe yeah, mix see, it up. Like, right there, it looked like it was a little bit too late. Yeah. 136 percent though on Valor. At least he's got a good percent lead. Right. Nice back air into the dash attack. Back air is going to be such a good tool for Inkling because he is going to be able to convert into a dash attack if they fall too far away or into the grab, which is going to net you even more damage. And sometimes you can even just do back air into run up to them and jab, which will ink your opponent a lot. It inks your opponent about three quarters of the way and uh, does really good amount of damage, about 20 or so. Yeah, no, for sure. And okay, what was that option was that Ooh. was thrown out? Was that, I didn't even get to see it there. That oh, was so know. quick, quick stocks, animation stocks coming out. flying, but XX, only at 94, taking that first stock, finding the first lead of the set so far. Yeah, no, definitely in a better position than he was the first game, that is for sure. And um, definitely seeming to adapt a little bit more to his opponent rather than Valor is. And going off stage deep, wanting to go for something extra Ooh. spicy there, but okay. All right, can he exact. get a ledge trap going here? Off. He's going to throw off the splat bomb, forcing a roll onto the stage. It goes unpunished. Wow, Luckily, Exec survives. And he's not going to survive because Valor meeting him off stage with the forward air. Yeah, no, really clean edge guard coming out from Valor to solidify that first stock. Um, kind of at a scary deficit here. 111% kind of high. You know, 20 bit more percent and he'll definitely be, um, you know, back or something else will close it sure, for sure. Yeah. So, I don't know. Dittos oh. are always like, you just got to be patient and watch, basically. Anything can happen at this point. Yeah, and the momentum could shift at any given moment. XX yes. throwing out that bomb. No follow-up off of that back air for Valor. And consistently, I've seen both players punish the roller by just throwing out jab. It completely cancels out the roller. Up throw up air for Ooh, Valor. Valor, and look at look look at the percents right now. I just literally we've only been watching for even. ten more seconds, yeah. and yeah, it's just back to even. Oh, here's a grab. Are about. Goes for the forward throw just to toss him back off stage. Ooh, I like that back air trying to put him in a teching situation yeah. there. Not gonna get the connection, but that's okay. Still gonna do these short hop aerials to back air there. You know, he's looking for him. He wants to get his opponent off stage. Maybe we're searching for some grabs here. This is a big opportunity for Valor. Has him off stage. Gonna charge up his ink. Doesn't have Ooh. any ink right now. Has to watch that meter. Yeah, Valor low on ink. Actually is uh, going to be tough for him right here because he's not really getting any opportunities to charge up. He finally wastes the last bit of his ink on that roller. Charges up a little bit more ink. Exacts with a full meter though. Okay. It's not gonna matter because he's gonna lose his stock. Yeah, wow. Allowing for Valor to actually <laughs> charge up his ink all the way and yeah, then man. loses his stock because of it. There we go. Again, back to just even here. This is what we're used to seeing in Dittos. It kind of starts off this way and honestly, both characters really just throwing out these same options. It's really about the movement with Inkling. Yeah. As we're seeing here, it's so crucial for this matchup and just kind of mixing up your opponent with the cross-ups as well. And look at that jab applying. Look at how inked he is. It's going to be easy, oh, extra yeah, damage. He is absolutely smothered in ink right now. He's going to take a lot of damage because of it. There's a oh, roller that's it. into the forward smash, and it does nice. it. Exact's bringing this to an even set count, one to one. Yeah, no, it was close there at the end, but definitely uh, getting all the momentum he needs there and kind of racking up damage super quick. Definitely got to see that nice rapid jab coming out, inking him up, and uh, yeah, getting that grounding. Once you get that grounding move, man, that's actually, it, it can lead up into a lot of things, great follow-ups, um, especially even at like the lower percentages. So nice to see it happen for sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, again, guys, I really hope you guys are appreciating the stream so far. Gonna get hype here, super excited. 
to what we have next as well. But yeah, game three, popping into it right now. This is going to be a best of five, guys. Game Here number three, and of course on the mic we have Thunder Gaming Zone, Aristel, and Edmund. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the commentary because I'm enjoying the gameplay right now. Definitely explosive matches that we've had so far. For sure. That, definitely when like Ditto's come out, it kind of yeah. slows down in a way, but you definitely get to kind of like watch uh, the characters and see how they perform individually, which is also really unique uh, to the game itself. So like to see it for sure. And there's that uh, down throw up air that we like to see following up with another up air, kind of keeping him in the air with these uh, juggling options here. All right, already 100% onto XX here. He finds a back air, no conversion off of it, and Valor just putting him back off stage. The forward tilt, charging the down smash at the ledge. Definitely looking for the roller now. The KO is on line. He's dashing around in his own ink. I, I like it. He's actually <laughs> yeah. disguised even more in that. In the stage. Yeah, the stage kind of has that green color. Same no, color it's for sick sure. for sure. Uh -oh. Ooh, going deep there. Kind of All opting right. for Nair, though. Usually we like to see, like, Bear or, or Bear off stage, but okay, interesting option nevertheless. And Valor very often just, uh, you know, exerting all of his ink, playing on an empty tank for a lot of this, uh, a lot of this match. And it seems like he's just so confident in his own movement, his own neutral with the character that it doesn't even matter if he has ink or not. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> Double slap bomb at the ledge here. Okay, Ooh, nice call the with the backer. And, and using the Eight. opportunities when he takes his opponent's stock to fully recharge his ink. And that's pretty much the only time we really see uh, Valor go for the ink recharge. I know, exactly. And actually, now we're seeing the reversal with Valor sitting in a three stock lead here uh, with the advantage. We kind of saw that last game, Exax had the first stock lead. So now we're kind of just seeing the reversal. And now uh, Exax is going to have to do a lot to get this comeback here. We're going to see the up Ooh, smash. Nice barely stuff. getting him. Barely. Kinda, yeah, kind of weak up smash there. Kind of getting the weak uh -oh. hit of it. There yes, we go. Yes, but Valor getting. Oh, was it Valor? Was it Exax? It was Valor. Yeah, yeah. He's up three stocks to one. The roller to up smash, doing Exax in. Uh, pretty big deficit for x here. Yeah, Spacing no, out these back airs, and there's that grab! Oh my god. Yeah, no, really nice stuff. And again, yeah, you just don't want to be put in those positions there. Uh, just be down to, look at this, 70% oh, already. Valor actually just taking this whole, uh, excuse me, this whole game away here. Look at that, not even opting for an F smash, recognizing he was going to do a fast smash and calling it out with the up air. Really nice follow up. Yeah, absolutely, and there's a forward air from Valor still continuing this lead. This is looking pretty grim for Exax, man. Yeah. It's going to take a lot for him to make this back. Valor looking really comfortable on the stage right now, throwing out this platform, keeping Exax at bay, and that back air does it. Three stocked yeah. for game number two. Yeah, no, the dittos, man, definitely. It's kind of like a back and forth thing. I feel like this is very mentally taxing as well, kind of like I was mentioning before. Um, but yeah, for you guys tuning in just right now, uh, right before this, we had uh, Umeki and, um, what was it, Umeki and Meimei, right? We had the Yoshi. Umeki so and Meimei, yeah. And, uh, that was a clean that was, uh, that was actually the last qualifier match. Right? Yeah. After that, we had, uh, is this our, our second match? This yeah, no, I, I believe this is our second yeah, match. Right. So this, this is, is uh, match. you guys haven't missed too much now. We just have the Inkling Ditto, uh, XX, and Valor here. And yeah, we go are going to hop into game four. Again, still opting for Pokemon Stadium, which is so interesting because usually when you're losing to the stage, you would see some type of, you know, counter stage pick, but instead opting to stick with it. And um, I don't know. What do you think about that? I mean, I, I'm not really too sure, uh, but one thing's for sure is that Valor is still popping off right here. Yeah. Slight. Pr oh, oh Ooh. my God! Actually okay. pushed him back onto the stage with that forward at that time. He finds a roller. He's just gonna go for the quick back air to put him off stage. Trying to get a huge air dodge read with that forward smash. It would have been really hype. I'll, I'll admit. Yeah, and I actually like that we did see uh, a color scheme uh, pick coming out from Exact too. Sometimes that's what it takes to kind of give yourself that momentum, right? You want to get that character switch. Got the pink ink going on. Maybe it was a little too similar, yeah. like you were saying earlier with the blue yeah, and green Yeah, especially ink. in the scramble situations, right? I yeah. was getting confused myself as to, like, okay, who took that stock? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Below the oh, stage that was beautiful! Dunked into the blast zone. Exact taking Ooh. that first stock. Beautiful. Yeah, no, that down air was a juicy coming out too. And especially now Exax being in that position again, if he can get, you know, extra percent here, that's going to be a really good position for uh, Exax. And we might even possibly see that game five. So I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Getting that nair to jab, really nice stuff. Quick, easy percent. 52, definitely a good extra credit here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the roller's going to come out a lot at these high percents. 
Uh, it's still like, it's it's interesting to see that uh, that option is not quite as potent as people used to think, right? Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the game, everyone was saying, oh man, that, that roller is broken, but slowly but surely, everyone started to learn how to punish it, and you can definitely avoid it on reaction. You can punish it out of shield, shield on reaction, yeah. or just cold shield, man. Right? Exactly, uh -oh. yeah. But it is that landing roller that gets a little bit tricky because it has a, a landing hitbox. Yeah, and again, just saw. yeah, that was nice stuff. And XX sitting comfortable with the three stocks here. Back there, not going to be enough to do it. Has the opponent off stage. Not going to go for an edge guard. Ops from the down tilt. Not going to get anything off of that or have the connection. But the nice call out with the down smash. Okay. That was clean. XX. XX wants this game five right here. He gets a full rapid jab. That's a lot of ink. Back here, avoiding. The, the dash grab with the spot dodge, really good recognition from Valor right here, and he gets the stock with the back air on the ledge. Yeah, finally taking that first stock off of Exax there. Beautiful back air at the ledge, kind of like the, we're seeing that pretty much all, uh, you know, the whole set, so it's nice stuff again. And right now, utilizing this platform beautifully right now, Valor looking great. Yeah, Valor definitely not too far behind though. At a 63%, he's gotta actually find a way to take this stock away from XX, who's only at 40 right now. He's got control of the center stage. Uh oh, whiff grab in his face. That's gonna cost him a little bit of damage. Yeah, neutral air not finding its mark, but the down tilt will cover the expended invincibility frames. Yeah, definitely can't be holding onto that ledge too long there. Yeah, especially not. at higher percents, yeah. you actually have less invincibility. I yeah, know that's great to know as well. Um, if you guys didn't know that, and that's that's where you kind of have to. It gets a little scary because you have the high percent. You want to be a little more cautious, but at the same time, you have to oh. make quicker decisions. And unfortunately, yeah, the air dodge off stage. I gotta send him into the platform. Fun too, man. I like it. I like it. All right, game number five here for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. Aristel, what do you think is gonna happen? We're we gonna see the inkling ditto still. Yeah, I, I actually yeah. think we're yeah we're just gonna run it back. We're gonna have sure. the inkling ditto. PS2. These guys uh, kind of wanna. Maybe they're gonna wanna, you know, afterwards flex a little bit, be like, yeah. I'm uh, the best inkling. I'm the best inkling for sure, but honestly, <laughs> oh, they're just oh, so back oh, and wait. forth here. So oh, maybe, wait. okay. Valor's actually really thinking Valor's about thinking it. about it. Covering over Wolf or Villager here. I think he's really thinking over his options. I don't even options. know what he's hovering over right now. Uh, over the whole uh, roster, pretty much. <laughs> he got the cast, man. Just hit that random button. Nope, going straight back to the inkling. After all, it's found you. Two victories in the set so far. All you need is one more. All it's going to take is to just play a little bit more more slowly and a little more methodically. Yeah, and definitely going back to his tried and true, a little more comfortable with his main. And obviously that makes sense, right? Uh, definitely if you're if you're feeling the character you're using, you don't want to be a little too risky, especially because it's, it's losers. So whoever yeah. wins the set, um, the, the, time for, on, the time so. for exper experimentation has already transpired, right? Yeah, exactly. uh, you could have done that when you were up 2-0. But uh, now at this point, you got you got your game five on the line. This is your tournament life. Losers top 32 here between Exax and Valor. Ooh, okay, Winner nice. takes 25th place. I'm sorry, loser takes 25th place. <laughs> winner, yeah, you're out. <laughs> winner, winner, winner keeps going. All right, again. Uh, Valor actually being in a position underneath those platforms, it's kind of scary being a little bit uh, like below inkling, you know, especially with these platforms, definitely looking for those up air follow-ups and it gets a little tricky and actually almost at even percentage here. I'm just telling you, this ditto, man, they're so back and forth and it's like, oh, how do you that's play? That's it, yep, forward smash. XX taking the nice. first stock with a roller off of the ledge, coming out of disadvantage and actually finding the lead with that KO. Yeah, no, this is definitely seems so oh, like good. mentally exhausting. Ooh. Ooh. He is. actually didn't get the platform extension with the second up air, yeah. but he got that first up air, so good damage nonetheless. A rapid jab right here. There's the ink that we're talking about. Can he find a few more hits to rack up and make sure he extends this lead even further? Ooh, Ooh okay. That there into <gasps> down smash. No is way, new. another one. Ooh, Barely avoiding that up smash. Beautiful mash, too. Yes. Actually getting out of that uh, super quickly there. Oh, avoiding that smash. Okay. okay, there we go. All right. He said, you, you were getting a little bit too... Uh, antsy right there. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you with my own roller. I mean, I don't know, man. This is top losers, uh, top 32 and Exax sitting really comfortably right now with this 100% uh, lead here. Honestly, looking like Exax might potentially take this uh, best of a five here. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah, Exax definitely looking really good for this right here. He up smashes out of shield. Nice. Cross up looking for that down smash. Thinking he was going to try and uh, call out maybe like an air dodge or something there. Interesting choice, not going to connect, but the jab, shield pressure, 
Nice to see it. Not going to get that grab. Kind of unfortunate. That's yeah, definitely what Valor needed. The second time that Valor has landed a backer that uh, should have connected into a grab, but whiffed entirely. Uh, really unfortunate for Valor. 154 on a second stock, though. Both players, two stocks apiece. But yeah. Anything can happen. No, exactly. And if Exax can't even take out on um, this stock here, uh, that's an opportunity for Valor to just rack up all that percentage. Sometimes, you know, um, when the ditto in the dittos, you have a harder time killing your uh, opponent. Yeah, absolutely. It's a little more trickier. Funny enough, in, in these entire four games that we've witnessed so far, we haven't seen a single uh, true up throw up air conversion from mm -hmm. either of these players. That's the patented inkling combo, right? That's so yeah. potent. However, in the inkling, a little bit rougher Ooh. in the up smash, okay. punishing out of shield once again. Exax one stock away from moving up in this bracket. Looks like he called out the jump there with the up smash, which is pretty nice. And again, yeah, Exax with that stock lead. Nice jab. Pressure at the ledge here. Gonna see some nice ledge trapping. Really nice stuff coming up from Exax there. Like to see that back air. It's the jab again. And all, again, that uh, inkling or that ink that he has on him is gonna be all that extra percent that he needs to, again, um, easier for him to just take the stock, solidify and uh, take this game five. All right, 98% on Exact, 75 on Valor. Valor's at the ledge. Yeah, trying to throw out that random F smash there too. You know, definitely what he's searching for. He wants to take the stock now. He doesn't want to take any extra percent here whatsoever. Ooh, beautiful pivot rag coming out. And again, the up throw up air just not quite finding its mark. Yeah. Jumping over the roller. Very crucial at this percent. You don't want to die. Uh-oh, up throw. Waits for the air dodge. Doesn't give it to him. Ooh, okay, again, both of them fishing for that roller. Oh, I can't, I can't, like, stand it right now. I'm just like, my heart is in shambles. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah, no, definitely. Ooh. Nice Ooh. patience. And yeah, gonna take it out with the up smash again. There it is, man. Yeah, shaking his head, but honestly, that takes so much mental stamina. And honestly, good stuff to both players there, kind of both giving each other run for their own money, taking it to game five, and really, uh, Kind of not letting anyone have it super easily there yeah. at all whatsoever. Yeah, totally um, not. And then yeah. you can see, you know, we were talking about how early, you know, earlier on in the meta, everyone was saying, oh, this roller, it's, it's too good. It's broken. Yeah, no. But we saw <laughs> very, very simple punish. Roller came out. Exact just put up a shield and punished out a shield without smash. That's yeah. all it took. Well, it was uh, nice stuff coming out. And uh, we are going to finally get the match that we were talking about earlier that we've been waiting to see here, guys. We're going to get Mars into Puppe here in 